very young, Jonathan, but you've already moved around quite a bit in your career. You go to Louisville, then you go to Real Sociedad. You've been in the U.S. national team camp before. You've been in the Mexico national team camp before. All of that is to say you've walked into a lot of locker rooms for the first time. When you walked into this locker room for the first time with Anthony Hudson and this staff, what was the message that stood out to you? What did they want to drive home? The message from Anthony Hudson and his staff, well, part of his staff is actually Mikey Varas, the under-20 coach, who I've obviously been working with, but it was to kind of, kind of what I said, to uh, take advantage of the opportunity um, and have fun. I mean, that's obviously we're all here because football is our passion and we all want to have fun with it. But yeah, it was to, to take advantage of the opportunity. Um, don't put pressure on yourself and just enjoy the moment. Speaking of opportunities, you're one of the players, many now that have the opportunity to play for both the United States and Mexico. Let's start with something that comes up a lot on this show when Hercules Gomez talks about it. He says that for all of you guys that are of the age that are Olympic eligible, the fact that the U.S. has Olympics and an under-20 World Cup in your case uh, is a very important part of the decision-making process. Do you feel that that's true? Yeah, I think there's some truth to that. It's definitely, it's definitely a factor. Um, uh, like you said, I'm U-20 eligible and Olympic eligible. So when, when you're making a, a decision as a player, you obviously factor both of those things in um, because those are developmental tournaments. I mean, obviously a, a huge, huge opportunity to play in any World Cup, a U-20 World Cup, and then obviously Olympics is as well an opportunity of, uh, of a lifetime. So those are, there's definitely truth to that. You know, and, and I know you know about this because you grew up in Texas. So you know about high school football and getting recruited to colleges and the big colleges. I kind of imagine you a little bit as a recruit. You, you, you've been into the Mexican national team camp. You're now at the U.S. camp. Uh, what's it like being in the camp in this phase where, I don't know, maybe the guys there are kind of trying to convince you to, to join the program? Uh, um, yeah. Uh, well, I, I guess there was also, there's also plenty of, I don't know about plenty, but there's also a few other players in, in my situation, obviously Brandon Vasquez, uh, Sendejas, who I, when I went to the Mexican camp, Sendejas was also there. Um, so I, I, I spoke I spoke to him a little bit about it, um, but yeah, I, w I wouldn't really say they're necessarily trying to convince me. I think everyone's just trying to, I guess, create a, a good atmosphere. And at the end of the day, like you said, it's it's my decision, so it'll it, it'll come down to I guess whatever I decide. But they're just trying to make the most enjoyable atmosphere for me. For I mean, for all the guys, um, for us to to want to come back, and not just me, all the guys. I mean, for the guys that it's their first camp, um, make a good impression and and make everyone want this to be where they want to be. You're one of the few guys that's been in both camps at the senior level. What's the difference? Or what are some of the differences? Well, the language. <laughs> 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 um, I wouldn't say there's too many differences, to be honest. I think, uh, well, I guess this camp has been shorter. Um, and there's been two games, so the focus has more been has been more on the games. Um, I would say when I went with the Mexican national team, there was a, a, a big emphasis on on the game that we played against against Guatemala. Um, and then here, I think they they do they do a good job of um, emphasizing on the training as well. I mean, I know um, Anthony's obviously came in as the, the interim coach, and we've had a short time. Like I said, um, guys came in at different times. We had two games, not that many training sessions, but they still. Uh, been able to uh, emphasize the ideas in the training sessions, um, how we want to press, um, how we're going to build out, stuff like that. I know this is a big decision for you. I know it's kind of looming over the rest of your career. Do you have a timetable? Do you know kind of when you want to make up your mind by and, and, and kind of have this in the rearview mirror? I wouldn't, I wouldn't say there's a timetable. I, I, and I don't think I pressure myself to that decision at all. I think it's just, I mean, as of right now, enjoy the moment that I'm here with the U.S. national team, take advantage of this camp, and then after, go back to my club. And ultimately, if I don't do my job at my club, there's not going to be national team opportunities. So I need to do my job there, and, and then from there, we'll, we'll, we'll see. So I, I wouldn't say there's a, there's a specific timetable or, or any, I guess, clock that's ticking in my head, like, oh, by in a year, I need to make this decision, et cetera. Let's talk about your club. How are things going at Real Sociedad? You've been there now quite a while. Yeah, I've been there. I got there in January of, 20, of 2022, so I've been there just over a year, 13 months. And I would say it's going well. Um, I'm really happy at the club, um, uh, obviously on the field as well as off the field. Off the field, I feel like the, my adaptation process has gone well. 
Um, I was able to get a car. Um, I have a good living situation. So all that stuff I'm happy with, and I think I'm, I'm progressing well as a player. Um, the club has a has a really good setup, and and yeah, I'm I'm happy to be there and hopefully continue to develop. What was that jump like to make the move from Louisville and USL to training with a La Liga team? I think mentally, I think I prepared myself mentally for it because um, because I knew it was going to be a, a jump in obviously the level and there was obviously going to be outside factors um, like time change, just stuff like that. But I think more stuff off the field, uh, my brother prepared me for, who's obviously been in Europe longer than I have. Um, and then I could focus more um, on the on the field stuff. And I think as, as I've been training more and more there, obviously, um, playing as well I've gotten better and better at first you when I started out it was it was kind of like a shock I would say um, in, in the level and not, not that I was out of place or anything like that but I just think that um, I was like impressed and then as as time went on I got better and better and now I'm just uh, I mean obviously continuing to get better well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.